So here we are today at knittedknockers.org filming the long awaited crochet tutorial. Hooray! We've had the knit one out for a while and so here we are. And today I've got a treat for you because I have Bunny here who is an expert crocheter. And what's going to be really exciting and fun is she is going to teach Barb, that would be me, uh, a very novice crocheter on how to make a crocheted knocker. Now, I've never made one before, so this will be an adventure. I know how to crochet, and I know how to read patterns. Let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. Ah, okay, <laughs> so Bunny, take it away. Tell okay. us what we need to make crocheted knockers. Okay, here we go. We need a ball of yarn, and there's different colors and things uh, that you can pick out and uh, uh, you can use two colors, three colors, whatever you want on the back side of it, but we'll go into that later. So you need three markers, one which is a different color than the other two. You'll need your uh, crochet hook. You'll need a needle, darning needle, is that what it's called? I don't know. Tapestry needle, Tapestry I think. Tapestry needle, yeah. And uh, scissors. And most importantly, a ruler. But this is only for me to keep her in line. So. There we go. We're going to start. Okay, but now, Bunny, we got to talk about the yarn a little bit. Okay. Because for crochet knockers, uh, they can be a little bit stiff. Uh, crochet, by its nature, is a little bit stiffer than knit. So we have uh, developed a pattern. Oh, you forgot to mention we need a pattern. Oh, and we have a pattern. We need a pattern. <laughs> we have to and have a pattern. You can download it. Yes, it downloaded it at knittedknockers.org. And make sure you've got the most current version by Claudia Barbeau. That's the only pattern that we use because we have tested and tried lots of different versions and this is the one that we have determined it, it comes up with the nicest crocheted knocker. And here's an example of one. It's beautiful, it's soft, it's uh, shaped, contoured nicely and you'll notice it has no nipple and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But the yarn is critical for crochet, and we have come up with a, uh, a list of approved yarns. Okay. There's 30 yarns on this list. Um, they, we've identified which ones are appropriate for knit and which ones are appropriate for crochet. And uh, today we're going to be using Cascade Yarns Ultra Pima, and it is a very fine weight and it stays soft after washing. Ultra Pima Fine you can find at most yarn shops. Um, and then uh, Cloudborn uh, Pima Cotton is a wonderful cotton for crochet as well. And that can be found at craftsy.com. Or you can find all of these yarns in our approved yarn list at knittedknockers.org. Okay, but right. I interrupted you. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, let's go. Pick up your needle. <laughs> get your yarn. <laughs> Okay. That's our first step. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave a little tail here and we're going to wrap it around our finger. Now most of you that do crochet already know how to um, make the, what's it called, the loop? Magic the ring. The magic ring, that's what it is. And um, so this will be really easy for you, but if, you're, if you have happen to have everything ready and you're going to go along with us, we're going to do this maybe a couple times just to see that you have it. So you, you crisscross it on your finger. Wait a minute, wrap it around your finger again. Show okay. us really slow. Okay. Which so direction you, are you going? You want it in the front and you wrap it around and you crisscross there. And then this is the one you're going to be working with. So you just, I just pull that over there. Okay, so I, I usually wrap it a little bit too uh, tight. So I reach in there and pull it up a little bit. Go in, turn your hook, grab that one right there, pull it up, twist your, twist your needle to pick up what you have here, and then pull it through the loop. Now sometimes I get the loop too tight and I have to do what I'm doing now, struggling. Okay. Now show me again because okay. I'm already lost. Okay. Okay, here we go again. There you have your tail. Wrap it from the front. Don't don't go, go like this because lower. it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be um, uh, wrong if you come from the back side. So okay. go across the front and kind of do it on the tip. And then crisscross there and hold it with your other fingers. Lift this up a little bit. 
sometimes you can just swing it in the back and pull it up. Pull your yarn here. Twist. Okay. Twist your needle. Pick up your working yarn. That's and, the long one, the, the long working one. yarn. Mm -hmm. And pull it through. So now what you have here is you have your circle with the, with the uh, tail here. And you want to keep these two together because this is, what, this is the end that you're going to pull it and you're going to um, tighten up the hole that's going to be in the center. Okay. So, so we'll keep it here. There we go. There we go. We're trying yeah. to get this right here. So insert your needle, pull this up. And we're off the working yarn now. Yep. The and long one. Yep. And then go over top of it and bring it in. Oops. Okay. I already messed up. Hang on. I got it. I'm sure you're not the only one that's messed up. So if we have to start again, we can certainly do okay, that too. Okay. I did it. Okay. Good. Now, Barb um, uh, knits really loose. So she... Crochets. Crochet. Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought I was going to be the no, one to say no. that. Okay. Here we go. She, she crochets really loose, so she's gone down uh, a needle size. So uh, I keep telling her or to pull it a little size. bit. Right, yeah, hook. Oh, are we not knitting? That way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, so here, let's keep going. We've got to do six of these. So we've done one. Put it in. Whoops, I went between it. Keep them together. There's two. I don't know if you're ahead, Barb. You're waiting for me to catch up? Yeah, because I'm so fast. <laughs> yeah. Three. This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got my six. Four. I'm trying to keep this all together here. By the way, Bunny and her daughter, her daughter's a knitter and Bunny's a crocheter, they have a goal of making 1,000 knitted knockers How many, and crocheted knockers. How many are you guys up to? We're, we're just getting close to 800 now. 800! So, <clears throat> yeah, so. so I see, she is an expert at this. Okay. Yeah, well, I can do it in my sleep. Okay, so then you get your the, the tail, not the working yarn, but the tail, and then just pull on it. That's what makes it magic. And that's, there you go there. Okay. okay, so now the next thing that you have to do is you have to go around and you have to get uh, 12 stitches on here. So you're gonna go into each of the crochets, you're gonna go twice. Okay, so, but now wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I pulled mine tighter than yours. That's okay, I, I'm gonna tighten mine up afterwards. Okay, oh, okay. you can do it later? Sure. No oh, okay, deal. I because didn't this, realize this that. Is, this is always gonna just tighten up the center. Okay, because so. that's gonna be where the, tip top is right and we are making these without nipples because we have found that most women prefer without nipples and also the crochet nipples just were too big and too stiff so yeah, yeah. so these are without nipples okay okay so I pulled mine uh, tighter just to make you feel better okay but it could thank you be done you're welcome later okay so here we go now we've got uh, one two three four five six so here is your first one and sometimes that one is a little bit hard to get into because that's where you've twisted your your um, crochet hook to get it going so but just get it in there it, somewhere just huh? get it in there somewhere yeah okay and then pull it up go over there's one and do another one in the same spot so and and I always count when I'm doing it so I know every um, even number is the right so that's one and two so now I know that I have to do three and four. So the pattern is saying we're increasing in each stitch. We had six stitches, now we're gonna have 12. Right. And so it's a good idea when you're done with that circle to do another count if you're somebody like me. Yeah, that's You're exactly. counting as you go, but it doesn't hurt to, it'll save you grief later. Well, I was counting as I go, but you were talking, so I got distracted. So I don't know how many I have in here. But that's not Seven, bad enough eight, to eat. 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I've got 13. I would, oh, I can fix it. Okay. Now it says. It says wait for Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I was getting yes, ahead. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we're gonna see that we have 12. So what you do is you increase in each single crochet to get 12, that's where we were. That was round two. That's round two. So now we're on three, and round we're gonna three. work two, and then uh, increase in the next two. So you're gonna do one single crochet in the first two. Okay, so here's a single crochet, then move to the next crochet and do one. Okay, so two single crochets. Uh huh. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do, you're gonna increase. You're gonna do two, just like we did before to make it from six to 12, how you did it in the same single crochet. So there's one. So we increase, it says, so work two single crochets and then increase in the next two single crochets. Okay, and then what you do is you put uh, one of your little markers and you make sure that it's not the it's not the one that we have here you want this first because okay. that's going to be the the starting point point. and where okay. do you put that in I put it let's see am I doing this right put it right in here so that's like the that. stitch before not the next stitch it's yes. the not stitch the one before that's on the hook it's not the one that's on the hook okay and you put it through it. both of the loops I I do yeah I, you could do it any way you want just so long okay. as you mark it so then now we're going to do <clears throat> so these are crochet. special, excuse me for mm -hmm. interrupting, but mm -hmm. these are special stitch markers. They open. Not all stitch markers do. So you want to have the kind that open. I, I like the ones that you can lock. They open and you lock them. Okay. Some of them are just, you just slide on there and you I lose them every time. So, so I have to sure take the time. So be sure and get these. They're not expensive. Yeah. Just get the, the ones that open. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there Moving was one. On. And then increase in the next two, yep. place marker, and do that three times. times. Yep. Okay, so we crochet, single crochet, yep. single crochet, mm -hmm. increase in the next stitch. Mm -hmm. So we do two in the next stitch, yep. and, and then, then two put, in the next stitch. Okay. And then you put your marker, your second marker on there. Before the needle before the needle. Okay, see, I would have done after the needle, but maybe that's a crochet thing, and I'm just, I'm a novice, so maybe I didn't know that, but yeah. put it before the, the stitch. Okay. Yeah, right there, the last stitch. All right. Okay, and do it again. Now. And then so we single crochet. Single. I'm doing mine so tight today that I don't know why. Well, I, that's not a problem for me. Yeah. I'm not loose crochet. <laughs> Oops. I know. I know okay, really. I had to go down a size in. Yeah. Needle. Yeah. Well, and yeah. there is a gauge on the pattern, so be sure whatever you do, check the gauge. Yeah. Not on your first one. Your first one's not going to be usable if you're anything like me. Yeah. This is your practice one. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay. Okay. So one more. Oops. All right. And then use your colored marker, and that is going to be your starting and stopping point. This one, the the blue one. Okay. Because that's the beginning of a round. Right. 17, 18, 19, and you see that's because I had one too many. You can skip if you have too many, just go to the next one. One stitch here or there, you can fix it on the next it's round not, is not what you're saying. Make, it's not going to make okay. a big difference. All so, right, now we're moving to round four. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to work four. You're just going to do the single crochet there. You're not, you're not increasing yet. So there's two, three, and four. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna increase in the next two. So this is this one's a little different here. So you're gonna do one, two in the same in the same single crochet. Then you're gonna remove your your marker. And you know, this is something that I probably shouldn't do, but I always end up sticking this in my mouth. So I'm going to try to be good and not do that. <laughs> <laughs> but but if you see it up okay. there, it's from habit. <laughs> if it disappears off the screen, it's up in that mouth. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. All righty, so, Daddy. Don't. That's a tip from Bunny. Mm -hmm. Where to keep your marker? Okay. Um, but wait a minute, I'm I'm messed up. Okay. So that was that was just the so first one. So what are you one. doing with that marker? You just took it out, and what what are and you going to do with it? You do two double crochets in that in that single crochet, just like you did on the one before it. See, because what you're doing is you're working four single crochets, and then you're increasing in the next two. I did that, and okay. then I removed the marker and put the marker back in after you do two. Okay, so I'm going to do two single crochets now. Yeah, yeah. And then, or no, I'm going to do four single crochets. 
aren't I? Well, you should have done one before you took your marker out. You should have put two double crochets in, in the one that had before the marker. I did. Okay. But it says in next two single crochets. Increase well, in, oh no, increase in next two single crochets. So I did that. Okay, but you took your marker out. Yes. Okay, and then the one that you took your marker out, then you do two single crochets in there. In the same, so, in one single crochet. So what you've done is increase two. Okay, I did that. I, I've got my marker in the wrong spot. Well, you don't. Am I going to be the only person you that don't does even, this? No, everybody's going to do it. Okay, so this is what happened: is you did a single crochet here, one, two, three, four, and then you did two here, and then this is the one that was, had the marker, so you took it out oh. and you did two here. So now put your marker right here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. See, that's what happens when you jump ahead. Well, I didn't jump ahead. <laughs> it's just that remember I had one extra stitch that row, that's and so right. that's where it got yeah. caught. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, so you, do your the second same thing. double crochet or increase is where you move that marker to yeah. that stitch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's you, good. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. So now I'm going to do four yep. single crochets. Right. That's easy. That part's easy. It's moving these markers that messed me oh, up. Oh wait, you. That, it'll get better. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll get worse. But that's all right. No, it'll get better. Okay, so I do an increase. Yeah, one, two. You move your marker. And you move your marker because it needs to be at the last stitch yep. of that, and then do it again. And four. And, and then put the marker put the in. Marker back in. Right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, this is not hard at all. Of course, they say everything's no, easy when you know how. Yeah, but really, it, it, it's, it's really easy. Okay, and the last one now? Oh. Do four. Mm -hmm. I mean, not double crochet. No, no. Two, two, two singles in one. We're increasing. Mm -hmm. Remove the marker. Now that was the beginning of the row marker. That's the one that's the For beginning and the end. Of the circles. Beginning and, and the end. end. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Okay. Okay. So now the next one. I'll put my marker in here real quick. So, Bunny, just so people know, uh -huh. we're not going to sit here and watch us crochet a whole knocker, right? <clears throat> no, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna jump ahead here. All right. So now we're going to be on uh, row five, and row five says to work seven single crochets and an increase in in the um, next one. So it'll be in the eighth. So here we go. There's one, two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you remove your marker and do the increase. And do the increase. So one. Okay, so we're going to do the, the rest of that row the same way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're only doing one increase. Yeah. Not yep. doing two like only before. Only do one increase. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'm reading the pattern. So we're doing well, good. <laughs> okay, one. Because that's different than the others were. Two. So you can't just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, when we finish this one, this is row five. When we go to six and seven, then that, that's the rows that continue on to um, do the increase to the point where you know that um, uh, you have to stop and, and start doing something else. Uh, and it'll tell you in the instructions here. But this is, this is the main part of where you get going in order to um, do the increasing. So in other words, you got to pay attention through row seven, and then you can just kind and of go into that mindless yeah, mode of doing yeah. the same thing then, over and over and yeah. over again. Then you do six and seven, six and seven, six and seven. You know, back and forth. So well, we're we're gonna do that next. Yeah. So. Yeah.
don't want to jump ahead. No, I'll get my knuckles wrapped. <laughs> you, it'll be time for me to use that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I move my marker. Are you ready to go the last one? Or are you no, already... you go ahead. Don't wait for me. Okay. So, two. And I don't know how many of you are following along with us and actually doing the the knitting at the or crocheting at the same time as as us but uh, um, you could always put it on pause and um, uh, catch up with us you know we'll move ahead and then you can catch up and it takes a few minutes to get this down when I, I, I do want to say though when I first started doing this to get the very beginning started wrapping around your finger and everything oh my goodness I, I was ready to quit and the whole thing but my daughter kept encouraging me that I could finally get it and uh, every once in a while I still have to do it two or three times before I get it so don't don't feel bad if you have a little bit of a problem with that so okay so now what we are we're on uh, number six so we're going to be doing six and seven so six is going to be increasing two stitches and seven will only increase one so what you're going to do is you're going to crochet up to the um, stitch before the marker so you just keep going up here this is a great little project to take with you in the car or watching oh. TV or throwing your purse because it's so small and portable. Yeah, it's a great conversation starter too. It is. It is. <laughs> what are you making, so, Bunny? Are you making a hat? <laughs> yeah, we get that a lot. Okay, so see, there's here's your um, one before the marker, and there's the marker. So you're going to increase in both of these. So you just put it in here. One, two. Remove your marker and do two in that stitch and replace your marker. Let's bounce ahead. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. When you get to number, that was number six, so number seven you're going to do the same thing but you're just going to increase where the marker is. You don't increase in the one uh, before the marker. Just so you just stitch right up. When you get to the marker, remove it, do two, put it back in. And so, and then the next one, you're going to go back to number six and you increase two, the one before and the one with the marker in it. So you just go back and forth until you have as many stitches on here as the size you're going to do. And that's what you should determine before you start is uh, what size uh, knocker that you're going to do. And there's, uh, it's on the sheet someplace, not on the sheet, but another one that tells you uh, the number of stitches for the size, whether it's an A, B, C, even D, and up. So you'll determine that first of what you need. Okay, so. this might be a good time to discuss. Uh, we get the most requests for pairs. Most women want two of the same size, mm -hmm. and they want a neutral color. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we're showing you a neutral color. Mm -hmm. um, um, and the way you size them is not just the number of stitches between the rows, uh, or between the markers, but you can measure across the back, across the diameter. For instance, if we're going to measure this one, the pattern will say for a C cup, repeat until you have 72 single crochets or amount to equal 6 inches across. So how do we measure that? We've got kind of a triangle thing going here. So from one point laid stretched across, this is 5 inches straight across. So 5 inches according to our pattern is really an A. Mm -hmm. So when this is stuffed, this will be an A. So that's just one way to size. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We're gonna. Okay. So what we're gonna do, if you're if you're following along, go ahead and put it put it on pause, and then you can pick up with us when we get done because this is what it looks like for the size that we're doing. Okay. So we've we've already done our six and seven, six and sevens all the way down here. So now we're gonna start with the next step. So and the next step is to knit in the or crochet in the back hook and you go around there twice okay so i'll just show you here Let's see go back over here all the way around two times 
Okay. Work two rounds even through the back loop only. So yes. that's creating a little ridge for yeah. that transition from the front to the back. Right, and that ridge is so that you can turn it and it has a nice little uh, ridge to it to uh, make it easier to do the turning in that. So we do this around two times. Well, that's super easy. Yep, it is very easy. Okay, so let's okay. fast forward to the next thing then. Okay, well, we need to we need to do two rows here and then do two uh, rows to uh, decrease. So that's on our decrease. So put it on pause. All right, so now we have uh, our two rows of uh, stitching in the back done and see how it's given us a, a line across here and that's gonna help us be able to fold it. And what we wanna do is we want a nice nice edge there. So, so the next step that we do is we're gonna start decreasing. This is our back, okay? This is our, our uh, decreasing in the back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the hook in here, pull it up gonna put it in here pull it up we're stitching them together is what we're doing and then pull it here and I usually pull that tight because it's gonna pucker to make an edge it's gonna go like it's gonna go yeah. like this here and make that edge so then we go ahead and we're doing this before and after each one but of course this is our last after so each marker not after, after each one after each marker yeah so before and after yeah. each marker so that's easy to remember yeah. we're yeah. always going to decrease one stitch before and after yep. each marker now yeah except for that first one because that's, we only do it after yeah. that marker yeah. of the row Yep. So we single crochet mm -hmm. until we get to the next marker, and in that last stitch, we decrease what? Okay, so we have to, well, I'll show you when you get there, but I'll, I'll tell you now. When you get there to start decreasing, it's the, you take your marker out, and that is one stitch before the marker is where you're going to start to uh Oh, put the two together. So yeah, because you're decreasing right through that marker, then, aren't you? Right, right. Yeah. Okay, that's so, a good point. I'm yeah. glad you mentioned that. Well, it would have come to me eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. But right remember, away, but... I'm the novice, so I, I'm sure I would have had the question, and I'm almost there now. Yeah, but I'm the old person that does the forgetting. So there you go. Oh, it even it evens out, right? <laughs> <laughs> Two of us together, we can get this. We can make one person that knows how to make it. And then offer. you, the viewer, that adds it in. <laughs> Between the three of us, we'll get it done, right? Hopefully right. Hopefully. And usable. <laughs> okay, I'm getting okay, close Okay, I'm there. one stitch before the marker. Okay, then you just hold off. Hold off. Just don't, don't get, see, Put I, the hands down and we'll be all safe. <laughs> yeah, right. I, uh, I'm a tight... Uh, crocheter so it, it's a little harder to get the needles in and stuff or the hook in and that's your excuse that's my excuse because I'm now. slow yeah so okay. slow and steady wins the race as they say and you do make stunning knockers I must say well thank you okay so here I am one stitch before the uh, the uh, marker so we take that out and then we put the hook in whoops Put the hook in and just do the same thing as we did on the other one. One, two, and then through three, and then put your marker back on. So we're okay. decreasing one stitch. Yeah, one stitch in the next before, two, and then put your marker on where you've pulled it. Got it. You no, know? okay. That's and it. And then what you do is you go to this one here. Oh, because we got to do it after you the marker now, too. You have to do too. it after the marker. So, did you go ahead? Uh, no. Okay, good for you. You would have had to put it down right. to wrap my knuckles, weren't you? You were <laughs> I close. I was anxious to do that. But now it looks like my marker is... Just go through. Just three. do it. Don't... Okay. Okay, let me, let me stop here a second and look and see what you did. Okay. So, see, eventually that's what's going to happen. So, there's... Pucker in one stitch and then there's one after it okay i think i did it okay the marker is in yeah, this one there. and then and there's then the decrease yep, yep you did yep so that's what that's what's going to happen you're going to do it before and you're going to do it after okay and then when you get around here to your uh, beginning you do one here just before the marker 
because you do it before and after, but we did it after this time, and now we're gonna do it before, okay? So we're decreasing a total of six stitches every round. Um, One before yes. and after. Yep. And yep. until, now the pattern says, until you have 15 single crochets left. Right, okay. So that would be five per section. Okay, so what you're gonna That's do easy. is you're gonna, you're jumping ahead again. <laughs> Where is that ruler? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna decrease like this two times, two rows. You're gonna go around two rows. And that way we can switch a color. And that's what we have here. Oh, but that's See? just if you want to. You if can you, keep with yeah, the same color. You can, you can, but if you're if you're bored to death by that time, you can switch colors and you can do more than one color, whatever you want to do. But you wanna have Look two rows. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a wild knocker, but you know what's know. nice is it's, it's a secret fun. just for the woman and yeah. she can still have her neutral color yeah, on the top. That's great. Yeah. So anyway, you have you have your two here so that you have a nice edge and it doesn't roll back up and show on the front. That's why you do that. So, okay, so we're just going to move that over because let's say you've already done your two. Then you go ahead and you add your, you add your yarn, a different color and you keep doing the same thing. Decrease before, decrease after, all the way down until you get to this point here. Well, it says 15 single crochet, so that'd be five, yeah, five, and five. Yeah. What yeah. if it's not even? What if you goofed it up? It really isn't gonna make any difference. Okay, it really just get down gonna, to about but, five. But don't, don't be so diligent about it that you just leave a little itty, itty bitty tiny hole because they have to stuff it. They have to get in there to put that on there. And so what I do is I, I put about this much on here. I don't know, maybe it's well, wasting but, yarn, but I do it anyway. The so. pattern says leave a 10 inch tail. Yeah, so, so that's that's what I did. It might be a little bit. Bigger. And we're gonna use that tail. Yep. So what, so what are we gonna do, do with it, honey? You are going to get your needle out now. Now, just so you know, what we say when we are processing knockers is we finish this off to be about the size of a quarter. Mm, okay. This is more like a half dollar, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what you do is you start weaving this in and out here. Let's Wait a see, minute, you don't see? you have to pull it through that first? Nope, because that would tie a knot there and you don't want to do that. You well, want to now get, you want this to get is going to unravel. <laughs> it's okay. gonna unravel. <laughs> it, it hasn't unraveled, and I've turned in 200 and some odd of these. Okay. So, it doesn't, so just right. bear with me here. Okay, so here's where you stopped, and then you, you go ahead and you just weave it through here. Just go around. Okay. All right, because okay. what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna use that to cinch it up, right? That's right. That's, that's the whole idea here. And you can even take your markers out now, too. Phew. Sometimes I go around. And... I already lost one earlier. <laughs> yeah. But you told me a trick, and that's just yeah. to count to make sure each section is equal, right. and then you can find where to put that missing marker yeah, in. If you, take your, if you take your marker out and then you keep going because you're just getting so good at this, um, and you forget to put it back in, the way you do it is just go and count between two of the, your leftover markers and it'll tell you how many are there and then you can just count there and, yeah. and catch up. So now, Benny, I just noticed deal. something. I need that ruler because it <laughs> uh -oh. says on the pattern, thread tapestry needle and weave through front loop only. Now, I don't think it matters at all. But I'm just saying, the pattern says that. So either way is okay. The purpose is is to get it so we can right. cinch it up. Right, so you can pull it, yeah. Okay. So, so in this case, it's the right way, the wrong way, and my way. So this, and is, this is working for you me. You okay, are the look. expert. Now look, see when you're through here, then you put it through there. Oh, at the end rather than the beginning. Yeah, because if you put it at the beginning, you'd lock it down, see? And you yeah. want to be able to do it so that you can pull it okay. tighter or whatever. Okay, so okay. show us what we're going to... what. Okay, let's take these markers out now. Okay. And when you have finished your wonderful knocker, mm -hmm. the question is, what do you do with it now? So this is when you send it in, and they look, fill it. Look at you yeah. can cinch it up now. Yeah. But we don't want to do that until you stuff it. Yeah. 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 
And you so know what? So go ahead and stuff it. Okay, well, or first of all, them. if you are crocheting these and you don't know what to do with them, um, you don't have a place to distribute them, you can send them to us. Uh, go online to knittedknockers.org and there will be the address and you can mail them to us unstuffed. It stays, saves on postage. A whole bunch of these can go into mm -hmm. uh, an envelope and it doesn't cost much and we have a stuffing party every week and we use those to fill orders. But if you want to stuff your own, what we do is we take polyester fiber fill. You can get that at Joann's or, or your local crafting store and we just take a, a wad of stuffing and we start stuffing. putting it in. <laughs> now we generally overstuff these knockers because some women are concave after their surgery and they need more volume and others don't. So we want to make sure that they don't need to go out and buy stuffing or whatever. So we stuff them a little over full. And in fact, maybe I'll just grab one here. Okay, and so here's what we've done. We've got our nice, round, beautiful crocheted knocker that is soft, it's contoured, it's very nice. And we've got this back left open, the size of a quarter. Oh, there we go, sorry, Camera, I'm not. Camera's over here. Okay, um, <laughs> the size of a quarter, so a woman can go in and remove stuffing as needed. And then she can cinch it up if she'd like with that tail but I always leave my finger in there and only cinch it up that much so that it can be easily expanded later. If you cinch it up tight, it's hard to get it back. Mm -hmm. So you just uh, cinch it up, put the tail inside like that, and then it's good to go. Now we always send these out with some care instructions um, because when we send them out, we send them out free, of course, all over the, the world. And uh, we send them out with care instructions telling that these were made by volunteer knitters and crocheters and provided uh, with love and they have washing instructions. And so uh, we encourage people to share uh, their stories back to us if they have enjoyed their knitted knockers. Mm -hmm. And we're always looking for people that can help make them. And so I just really, really want to thank you for joining us today at Apple Yarns here in Bellingham, Washington, where mm -hmm. uh, we have learned how to make from the Yep. the wonderful bunny who is yeah. a taskmaster but you know what i didn't get my nap knuckles my knuckles right <laughs> my knuckles wrapped even one time yeah. that is amazing if you'd seen us in our pre-take it it wasn't so pretty <laughs> well i was thinking i might have to send you to the car but you behaved yourself so, that's good. <laughs> so bunny we are going to post on facebook when you and your daughter becky reach a thousand knitted knockers mm -hmm. and fun. on behalf of the the hundreds of women that are gonna benefit from that or the thousand women, um, we just can't thank you enough oh, for that. And then being willing pleasure. to come on and show us how to make great crocheted mm. knockers. Thank you. Okay. So I'd really like to encourage you, if you find that you like making crocheted knockers or knitted knockers, um, to register with us at knittedknockers.org because by registering, we are able to connect you with others and we encourage people to knit or crochet for their own communities. And so we can support you by providing print materials, care instructions, business cards to help you provide to your own community. So you can register with us at knittedknockers.org. There's a provider link there and we put you on our website if you wish. If you don't wanna be on the website, that's totally fine. We have about 200 groups and individuals registered with us at this point as knitters all across the country and we're in currently in 14 countries internationally. So uh, we're excited that you want to make these. If you're making them for yourselves, wonderful. If you're going to make them for us, wonderful. And thank you so much for using your, your time and your talents to make a difference. Yeah.